Hi there, welcome to ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this video, we will learn one of the most essential part of any web application and we will try to create a new form in ASP.NET Core web application. Let's start. We will learn how can we create a new form, how can we set tag helpers for the models. So basically form is the combination of multiple input elements and we will create those elements with the help of tag helpers. We will also bind a model to the form so that we can get all the data in the model. We will learn how can we submit this form and several other things which are required to create and work with form you will learn in this video. If you are completely new to the web application then let's understand what is form. A form is used to get data from user. In any web application, if you need to get some data from a user, then you need to create a new form. A form has various input options for user to get the data easily. In other terms, a form is the combination of several input type elements. Text box. Text box is just basically a box which is used to write the plain text. Then we have text area. It has slightly bigger size as compared to the text box. Then we have calendar. If you need to get any date, radio button, check box, drop down, number, email, URL, etc. Before creating a new form in ASP.NET Core web application, let's understand what are the core components of a form. First, we need to create a new form tag and this tag can be created in HTML form. Then we need some input elements. For example, if I need to get some data, then I will be creating few elements over there. Just like we have discussed in the previous slide, text area, text box, calendar, radio button, etc. We can use all those or any one of them as per the need as an input element. Then we need method. We need a submit URL. At what URL we are going to submit this form and a submit button. This submit button will be used to submit our data from our client to the server. So let's open the Visual Studio and let's create a new form. In this book store web application, if I want to add new books, then I need to create a form so that user can add the details of their book and then they can submit the details to the application server. At this time we have two controllers into our application. First one is book controller, second one is home controller. Since we are going to work on the book section, so we can create our action method inside this book controller. So let's create a new action method over here. And from this action method, I want to return a view. Return view. That's it. And let's create a new view for this particular action method. If I right click on this one and choose add view, and let's print a simple message over here. Hello from form. Now let's create a new navigation link so that we can access this page from our browser. And we can add this navigation link into the layout file. Layout file is available inside this shared folder. So here you can see we have few options or links we can say. I can simply copy one, paste it again over here. And then here I can say and let's update this action method. The name of our action method is add new book. Let's copy this name, go back to the layout file and simply paste it over here inside this ASP action. If I press control F5, okay. So here you can see that we have a new option, add new book. Let's click on this one. And here you can see we are getting this simple message, hello from new book form. Now inside this view, we need to create our form. Let's remove this. And let's simply use form tag. Inside this form, we have to tell what type of method we are going to use for this form. So for that, we can use method attribute. And inside this method, you can see we are getting four options, delete, get, post, put. You can choose this method type based on the operation of your form. If you want to delete something, then you can use delete. If you want to get some data, just like you want to implement search functionality, then you can use get. If you want to add something new, then you can use post. And if you want to update, then you can simply use put type. So I want to add a new book. So I'll be using post. Let's save all the changes. Go back to the browser and just refresh this page. If I right click onto this page and choose view page source, then over here you can see that we are getting this form tag and the method is post. 
inside this form we are getting something else we are getting input name request verification token type is hidden and there is some value so this request verification token is generated automatically by sp.net core application and this request verification token has a very important meaning this is used for the security purpose we will understand the main use of this request verification token in some upcoming video but for now just focus that if we are going to create a new form then automatically we will be getting this request verification token and since i want to create this form to add a new book so first we need to see what model we need for this form so right now we have only one model which is book model so i will be using this same model to create our book and if I want to use any model on our view, then we simply need to use model directive. Let's give the name of our model. So here is the book model. Now let's define some input properties. And how can we do that? Input type is equals to text. Let's save the changes. Go back to the browser again and refresh this page. This time you can see that we are getting one new text box. I can simply write anything over here. I can write numbers. I can write text and everything is working fine but since I want to use tag helpers in this form so let's remove this type text and simply use ASP-4 if you will use this ASP-4 then all the properties of this model will be available over here now suppose I want to create this input element for the title property of our book model so I can simply type over here title okay let's create few more properties over here suppose this time I want to create this for description so we have title author description this time if I save all the changes go back to the browser and refresh this page then you can see we are getting three text box we can type anything in these text box by using this ESP4 you can create your input tag elements now suppose I want to associate label to these input elements then I can use label over here label and I can simply use ASP4 and I can type title let's use label for this author as well and let's do the same with description as well let's save all the changes go back to the browser refresh this page and here you can see we are getting title author and description if I click on any of the label then you can see we got the focus on the associated text box so if I click on the author then you can see we got the focus in this text box if I click on the description then you can see we are getting focus over here and if I click on the title then you can see we are getting the focus in title input text box let's update the design and let's use bootstrap to design this form so let's put all of them in div tag let's add some class Now let's add form control class as well. Let's copy this class and use it in all the form elements. Okay. Let's wrap up the entire form in container class. And here let's use a title. let's give it a class as well so class is display 4 okay let's go back to the browser this time you can see that we are getting a beautiful form we have a title add new book then we have few properties and few elements over here if I click on the title then we are getting the focus on this title input box if I click on the author then everything is working fine but for the description suppose I want to use text area then let's see how can we use this text area so instead of using this input as before this time I will be using a text area so this is how you can use text area and inside this text area you can simply use this ASP4 you can also use this class for the designing and let's remove this input if I save the changes go back to the browser refresh this page again then you can see that we are getting this description text area over here so we are getting three elements into this form let's use a button let's create one more div over here and form group let's create a new button 
to submit a form we can use submit button value is add book let's add a class as well okay let's go back to the browser refresh this page and you can see we are getting a form over here so we can enter the title author and description but now we need to submit this form and to submit this form we need to create a new action method into our controller so here let's create a new action method let's copy this existing action method and simply paste it over here you can have the method with same name or you can update the name it is your choice since we have written method equal to post into our form tag so we have to create our action method in such a way so that it can handle the incoming post request to handle the post request we have to use http post decorator over here by default all the action methods are get type if you want to update them then you can use these http verbs if you want to create a new for the put then you can use http put over here here you can see we have a new verb with name http put if you want to delete something then you can use the delete if you want to use get then you can specify get as well but since we are going to create a new object so we will be using http post and since we cannot have two methods with same name and same parameter so we have to update the parameter focus when we will submit this form from our page then here at this action method level there should be something which will get that data so i will be using over here the name of our book model and let's give it this parameter a name book model so now what will happen we have a form on our view file and from that file if we will submit the data then the entire data will be mapped to the corresponding properties and over here inside this book model you will see that we are getting all the data and just for your knowledge all these bindings are done by model binder we will understand the concept of model binder in detail in some upcoming video for now just focus that if you are passing some data from your view file to the controller's action method then based on the property that you have used into your form elements those will be mapped to this class that you have defined over here it is not necessary that you will use book model class over here no you can use some other class as well but the property name should be same if the property name are same to these properties that we have used while creating this form then the data will be mapped automatically if the property name will be different then the data will not be mapped now let's run this application in debug mode and let's press f5 or click on this button let's click on this add new book and let's enter some details let's enter some description this is description go back to the visual studio and let's put a breakpoint over here and click on this add book button so at this place you can see that if i hover in this book model then you can see we are getting all the data we are getting author nitesh description this is description and the title since we have not created any properties for these input elements that is why we are not getting the data over here but this is how you can submit the data now let's focus on to our form at this point if you notice that we are not using any url over here inside this form tag but still we are hitting the controller's action method inside this book controller why is this happening this is happening because in asp.net core web application by default this form will hit the same name action method which is used to create this form so it means if we have created this form by using this action method which has a name add new book and to post this form we are using new action method with same name then at that time there is no need to define the url in form tag but by any chance if you are using this post method with some other name then you have to specify the name into your form and how can you specify there are several ways to do that first one is if the name of your action method is different then you can simply use ASP action and let's give the name over here add new book if the controller is same it means for getting and submitting the data the controller is same then there is no need to define the controller name but in case your controller is different suppose you have a action method inside this home controller and you want to submit that data on home controller's action method then you have to define the name of your controller as well over here for example over here we are using the same book controller so i can define book but in any case if you are using some other controller then you can define the name of your different controller over here if you are using area then you can specify the name of your area as well 
And if you have seen my previous video about anchor tag helper, then at that time we were using several other ways. Like we were using route, route name. You can define all those things over here into your form X and URL as well. So let's save all the changes. Go back to the browser and this time just click on this add new book to refresh this page. Okay, right click on this page and choose view page source. At this place you can see that this is our form. Inside this form we have the method which is post. We have a action. This is book add new book. Over here you can see that we are using this label for title and let's focus on the input type element. We have not specified any type to our input element but automatically the type has been assigned the id has been created and the name has been given here is our submit button and this submit button is used to submit the data inside this book model you can see that we have a property for total pages let's create a new input element for this total pages as well let's copy this block paste it over here and let's type total pages let's copy it paste it over here as well go back to the browser and refresh this page let's refresh this view source as well so over here you can see that a new input type number has been created automatically why this number has been created because the type of total pages property is integer that is why based on that property type this input element has been created so here you can see the type is number if I try to type any text over here, then you can see I am not able to type it. But if I type number, then you can see I can type the number. And now let's try to post this data. So suppose here is the name, author, description. Let's enter some pages. So suppose total pages are 12. Click on the add book button. Let's see what all data we got over here. So here you can see we are getting author, description, title and the total pages. So everything is working fine as expected. Let's give a title to this page. Okay, so we got the title as well. It means the basic form has been created. That is all in this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any confusion or questions, then you can ask everything into the comment section. Kindly share this video, subscribe to the channel, and you can also join this WebGentle YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.